This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great weekend. So the first uh, thing I wanted to talk about is a yacht that has changed its name for the second time in, in a couple of months on AIS. Uh, Motor Yacht Pacific. This is a vessel that uh, is owned by a Russian and his name is Leonard Mikkelsen. He's the CEO and major shareholder of Novatech, which is a Russian gas company. Now he, he owns this yacht. Um, the yacht um, was in the news when it, because of it disappeared. It was in Costa Rica. Um, it went dark on AIS. It crossed over the Atlantic, went through the Med, and it reappeared in Turkey. Now you might remember um, about a month ago, I was talking about it and I said that the vessel had changed its name on AIS. It, it, it removed its name and it replaced it with its maritime mobile service identity, which is MMSI number. That's a number that's used for something called DSC or digital selective calling. So you can call on VHF radio or, or MF and HF radio, and you can call directly to another boat using this number and it's unique to each boat. Now, that is the only thing on AIS that you cannot change. Um, and they removed the name, replaced it with MMSI, so people couldn't find it so easily when they were searching for that vessel. Well, they've, now they've changed it again, and now they've put the name Pacific with the letter X after it. The, the vessel is still registered as Motiot Pacific on the IMO, the International Maritime Organization website. So... Yeah, so they, they, they keep changing the name. Obviously, it's a, it's a way to try to avoid being tracked. Um, so it, the vessel is docked in Marmaris right now. So if you're in that area and you can get near where it's docked, I'll show you where it is on the screen. Uh, be sure to take a photograph. Try and get a shot of the stern so we can uh, verify if the, the name has actually changed or they're just putting random names in into the, uh, into the AIS system now. All right, so we'll move on to the next story. Now this is about motor yacht Amadea. Now, no introduction needed for Amadea, right? This is the vessel that was um, seized by the US government in Fiji and sailed to the US and has been docked in San Diego ever since. Well, I have a few people contacted me telling me that the vet, they were planning to move the vessel because it was attracting quite a lot of attention in the location where it was. And also, apparently, and I can't verify this independently, but apparently a few people tried to actually get on board the vessel. Um, I, the, the, the thing is, the thing that you should know is, any yacht, regardless of, of where it is, uh, you might walk along in a marina somewhere and you might see a yacht with its gangway down and, a, and, a, and a, a sign across it saying private, no entry, and there's nobody around, right? And you might think, oh, I can just walk on board, but you can't because they've all got security cameras and they are being monitored. So if you do try to get onto a boat, you will be challenged pretty quickly. So anyway, this is why we think the vessel was moved. And now it's being moved around to a more secluded area. You can, I, I think you can get to it. There's a park right near it in San Diego called Pepper Park, which is where Pepper Pig lives, I'm told. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Um, so, so you'd probably be able to go to that park. It looks like it's got a little jetty there. You could probably see the boat from there. But I think it's more secure in terms that you can't walk up to the boat to, to get any closer. So, um, oh, by the way, I just wanted to point out, I pointed out the joke there, even though it was, I think it's quite obvious. But in the last video, or the second to last video, I, I mentioned the fact that we needed to club together and buy... The, um, the guy who was counting the bids for Motia Axioma, a new uh, letter opener. And I got like 20 comments saying, it's not just about opening envelopes. That was a joke, people. Just so you don't, just so you know. I think I'm gonna have to put the word joke on the screen in future when I do jokes, because every time I, I tried to make a joke, okay, maybe it wasn't very funny, but every time I try to make a joke, some, I get like 20 people writing in the comments explaining why that's not uh, what's happening, so. Anyway, look, let's move on. Um, so this is, the, this is the main reason for this video today. Um, I've seen in the news and I've had quite a few people contact me to say that the yacht that sank in Italy last week was uh, owned by a Russian. Now, um, and now, this is in the mainstream media. The Daily Mail Online has put out a story and it's been syndicated to MSN online, which, is, which goes out all over the world, right? 
And this is, I think, the reason why people have been contacting me and also the reason why this story is out there and I've seen it myself. Uh, the story says that, um, that um, he owns the yacht, motor yacht Life Saga, and it belongs to a chap called Gennady Ivazian. Now, that, that's, I probably butchered that name, but it is very complicated. I'll put it on the screen. You can see how complicated that is to, to pronounce. Um, now, they are correct. He does own a yacht called Life Saga, but it's a 65 meter or 213 foot yacht called Life Saga, built by Admiral, uh, Admiral Yacht, which is part of the Italian Sea Group. The vessel that sank, however, is not called Life Saga. It's just simply called Motor Yacht Saga or MY Saga. If you look on AIS, MY space Saga, you'll find it. And it will show you the last location, which is right where it sank. Now, if I show you this, which is Life Saga, you'll see it's currently in Sardinia. So as far as I know, sunken yachts do not broadcast AIS in different locations to where they sank. So yeah, so that is a bad story out there. Now it is possible he owned both yachts, right? So we cannot uh, eliminate that right now because it's been very difficult to try to find out who actually owns the yacht that did sink. And I can, I can kind of understand why those journalists uh, made the mistake because the, there is no trail for the yacht that sank. And, and what I mean by that is if you look on AIS, there's no IMO number which is the unique number that you can go and search for a vessel with the IMO number. The MMSI number does not come back to a vessel called Saga. Um, and if you, if you search the MMSI number on Google, you will find plenty of web pages talking about the vessel. None of the vessels show the IMO number. So it's a bit of a mystery. I'm not trying to start a conspiracy theory or anything, but it is a little bit of a mystery as to uh, who owns this boat. So if you happen to know this, if you if you maybe you work for Lloyd's or you work for somebody who, who's in the know, because we can't find any information. So that's probably why they made that mistake. But still, it is a pretty bad mistake to make for a mainstream news outlet. Okay, and one and one last story. Uh, this came in from a subscriber. Uh, Mosey Yacht Fountainhead was leaving Boston, heading down to Long Island, and in the U.S. of course, and. Um, it was showing a speed of 102 knots. So it was actually, when I did a track of the vessel, it was going between zero and 102 knots, which obviously the vessel's not doing 102 knots. So they've got a problem on board with the, uh, the data that's uh, shared with AIS. Now the system on board that measures speed on a yacht is they have a GPS feed, but they also use something called uh, a Doppler log which gives you um, a speed of what something called speed over ground or speed through water. And basically, the, 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 uh, this is the easy version. Um, it sends out radio signal from the hull of the vessel down, and then it, it bounces off the ground, the seabed, and comes back up, and that's called speed over ground. And if the vessel is in, you know, it's a thousand meters, and it, it, it selects a predetermined depth to bounce the, uh, the sound frequency off, and that, return on the on the the hull of the vessel they can work out how fast the vessel is doing relative speed based on the return of that signal uh, and i think there's probably something wrong with the transducer uh, i've had experience with this myself i was on a yacht once and we were in a shipyard we were docked and the um, the, the speed over ground was saying we were doing about 80 knots so we, we definitely were not doing 80 knots because of a fault with the transducer so that's probably the, the, the issue that's, that's happening there. But yeah, I thought that was quite funny when I saw the speed. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the track on the screen, you can see it. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Just one, one last thing I wanna say is, please watch my video. I, I just put out a video, it's a mini documentary. It's called uh, Millions, Staggering Monthly Costs of Sea Super Yachts. And it's about uh, how much the Italian government is paying to, to uh, hold on to Sailing Yacht A and Shahar Assad and a few other yachts and some properties in Sardinia as well owned by Russian uh, billionaires who, who are on the sanctions list. The invasion of Ukraine created sanctions unlike anything Russia had ever seen from the West. As a result of these sanctions, we look at the crippling costs of millions of euros per month the Italian government are paying to keep assets frozen. 
the comments I'm getting back from it are really good, but um, I'm just surprised that not so many of you have chosen to watch it so far. So please check it out. It's only a 10 minute video and it's, it's, there was a lot of research went into it, a lot of, a lot of work went into that video. So I would appreciate if you watch it and then let me know what you think in the comments. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, you know how to do it. If you want to contact us, um, about page of the YouTube channel, uh, Instagram, um, Facebook Messenger, and through email. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell for future notifications. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. After the vessel was arrested by the Italian authorities, both Melnichenko's yachts lost their flag state as they were deregistered by the Isle of Man shipping registry. They also had their Lloyd's classification withdrawn, all as a result of the sanctions. This meant both vessels would also lose their insurance, 